What's up, Dragon Brood? Today, this is just going to be different. It's going to be weird. I have no idea if it's going to be good. All I'm going to do is say thank you to a viewer that goes by the name of Hotbox. Uh, H-A-U-T-E, Hot. And this is just one of those things that got submitted, considered for Fan Friday. But you know what? I decided I'm just going to make a daily video out of it because the deck's just unique and fun and fun and fun and more fun so i'm in <laughs> sometimes that's all it takes before we get into the video though please remember to hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell because we really need that subscription from you because we're trying to hit 10,000 subs by february 1th and i need you to hit that button to help me get there all right that being said let's go take a look at this surprisingly fun but simple deck list Okay, y'all, uh, cards aren't missing. That's just the deck list. <laughs> so it's four thought sees. Uh, obviously, just the best discard spell you can have in the format. People have probably gotten tired of seeing it already. Four Burglar Rats, four Heartless Act, because we got to have some removal here in the list. Burglar Rats to make your opponent discard cards. Pack Rats, because every card you discard turns into a rat that makes your pack rats bigger. Piper of the Swarm, uh, this is a cool one because you can make more rats, which also pumps your rats, or you can sacrifice rats to steal a thing. So, either way, if this is untapped at the end of your opponent's turn, it's probably going to do something positive for us. 12 Rat Colony, because again, you play rats, they make... Now, Rat Colonies only get plus power for other Rat Colonies, or actually for other rats, so it still gets a bonus, just doesn't pump their toughness. But you can have any number of them, so we're playing 12 of them. Three Murderous Riders, just for a little flexibility so we can kill Planeswalkers or other big creatures if something goes sideways. Uh, we're playing a couple of Herald's Horn because, well, everything practically is a rat. <laughs> except for just, what, five cards? I guess that's not true. We have, we have eight cards that aren't rats, that aren't lands. So we're okay with just like saying, hey... Some of these aren't going to be rats, that's fine, but it does make them cheaper. So if we do have some on top, we do get bonus ones into our hand. Uh, could end up cutting this card, we'll see. And then a couple of Ogre Slumlords that every time a rat dies, you're going to get another rat, and all your rats have Death Touch. And it's a 3-3 also, so it's not like the worst thing all by itself. And then just 22 Swamps. We're not getting cute here. Though, I say that. Maybe. Maybe. We try to play at least one castle. We don't have a lot of lands, mind you. But, just, you know, can't hurt. Give ourselves a little bit of, of options here. Um, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do. I was thinking there's also, like, the tower or whatever that you can sack a creature to to get two black mana. But I don't know if that really benefits us. So we'll come to that again at the end of the deck list. But for now, let's not mess with it too much. Let's go hop in the arena and see what's up. All right, I can't imagine this deck's going to have too many bad hands. So we're going to go ahead and keep. Uh, this kind of allows us to just strip your opponent's hand significantly here. So we'll just go Thoughtseize into Rat into Rat. Or actually... Oh, well... I guess when you let him keep and eliminate, we'll go ahead and... I mean, we'll lose a rat, but we don't care that much. Alright, so we'll rat here because we can rat and thought seize next turn. And we want to play this last. Because they're going to kill something. We're going to just kill a burglar rat. Alright, there's more rat colonies. So go ahead and let the opponent choose. Mostly because, who knows, maybe they choose something we wouldn't choose, not knowing that we have a Thoughtseize. Alright, Thoughtseize to strip their hand. Uh, they got double eliminate, boo. Don't love that. So that means we need more rat colonies. <laughs> just as I say that like need more rat colonies well these first couple are going to die to eliminates that's okay 
Arguably, I could have got rid of one and let them keep the Nissa since they were a couple turns away from it, but that's okay. Errors happen. Because it looks like they... Yeah, okay, well, they, they may have actually hit it, so we have to be careful there. Alright, we'll wait on this pack rat. We'll just get in here with some burglar rats. Play this. And then hopefully next turn we'll draw a land and then we can just play burglar rat, pack rat. I mean, a uh, rat colony, pack rat. Wouldn't have minded having a burglar rat there. Would have been great. Thoughtsies, there goes the pack rat. Opponent will lose two life. Uh, just in time, too. Opponent got lucky. I'm going to go ahead and put it into play. No reason to hold on to that. Well, that's not true. I guess we could have drawn a pack rat, and it would have been relevant. Uh, opponent's going to be one turn clocking from here, right? All right. Don't draw a removal card for my pack rat, or my rat colony, please. No deal. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Uh, and they're going to be able to get Uro back, too. Oh, well, maybe now we can steal Uro, though, right? That's pretty spiffy. I don't hate that. All right. All our rats have Menace because of the Piper. So that's a thing. Opponent can get Uro back. Draw a card. Go to five. But they can't block anything if they only have Uro. I was not prepared for this. All right. Let's see what happens. What is that card? Does it kill a Piper? Nope. I think we just got this. Good times. Uh, we'll attack with this, this, and this. And that'll be six in. Oh, I'm beating Uro. Okay, we get to go first. We really need a second land here. I don't know if I could risk it with just two Thoughtseize. Uh, this is much better. We'll keep, and we're going to scrap that Slumlord. And we're going to go Thoughtseize. Ew. I don't like none of these things. Uh, Dance of the Mance is annoying. They could put a Stone Coil into play. Oh, uh, gosh. I don't even know. I think I'm just going to go Ulamog because I don't have to worry about it later. I think that was a scared move, though, to be honest. Wasn't the best. I uh, don't have enough land to really take advantage of the pack rats yet, so we're going to go with the rat colony. Yep, Mind Stone. We're probably just going to get our board swept, is what's likely to happen here. All right, opponent. What you doing? Just a one mana stone cold serpent. Okay. Seems fine. If that's the case, let's do this. I mean, if they're not going to make creatures, then... Or, or we can just make this into a three power, then a four power, then a five power, and like just keep doing that. I say, we don't have to dedicate anything else to the board. Make a rat. I mean, this this is its own clock. That gets basically two bigger per turn. Because we get an additional rat that gets to attack, and this gets bigger. Alright, memory is call where they get the angels. Fair enough. Then... Hmm, didn't get mana, because it'd be nice to steal an angel. That'd be pretty sweet. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take it slow. We're going to try to kill an angel, and then we're going to try to kill another angel. And then get back to attacking. 
Ugh, shark typhoon, huh? We don't like that. That is going to be pretty tough on us, let me tell you. Oh, got stuck on lands. I would love to be able to play another rat colony here. I'm just going to attack with everything, because Stone Cold is not going to kill anything here. And that puts the opponent to eight. If we cast a rat... That'd be... Okay, so they are blocking with Stone Cold. I mean, they can get Stone Cold back as, I guess, a 4-4. Four, four. Alright, another Archive, which results in a 4-4. Four, four. Are you going to say they could cast Dance of the Mance for not a whole lot, but still get something out of it, I guess? Okay, so they still have three mana open, so we do have to be a little wary here. Uh, now the question is, do we pack rat or do we rat colony? Because uh, that's a bigger attacker on the next turn, but this is also equal to the number of rats. So it would, it would be a 3-3. Three, three. That's not nothing, right? I think we do this. I think is the plan. And then they have to come up with two, like, extra creatures because, like, two two creatures have to block one rat colony. So they, they need more. Not to say they can't do it. Obviously. Here come the Dance of the Mance because they can get back Stone Coil and Mind Stone. Which gives them four total creatures. So now we need a kill card of some sort. Oh, actually, no. We need a land to just steal an 8-8. Oh, no. But we have to sacrifice rats to do that. So we don't necessarily want that. That's bad for us. That's, that's bad for business, as they say. All right. One, two, three, four. Or do we just make a rat? Hmm. Is there a way? Wait, no. That's it, right? Because they can block... Oh, they must have something they can play for one mana? Or are they just dead? Because they have to double block Rat Colony. Yeah, something's up here. I don't know what's going on. I'm still going to attack because, you know, I'm a Huckleberry and all. All right. I mean, we've got Menace, so without an extra... I thought they might have had, like, Opt or something here. Yeah, that's it, right? Okay, well, we're all done. Uh, okay, yeah, we have a bunch of rat colonies. That's what this deck does, so, you know, why not? Oh, um... I guess we take Frantic Inventory. Funny that, uh... ECD only works against, I think, three cards in our whole deck. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Uh, mostly because we can just start getting more damage in, whereas we're going to play Burglar at turn two, and there's not much the opponent's going to do here anyway. I mean, feel free to counter a rat. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're smart, you just get rid of the EC. Oh, wait, really? Got rid of a Narset? I didn't see that coming. Ah, smart. I guess I didn't think about it. If there's one in the yard, it equals an extra card. Though the opponent doesn't have white mana. Or extra colored mana in general at this point. So there's no efficient way for them to 
I mean, they could field the ruin, destroy their own other field of ruin to go search. Um, would that be efficient for them to get double white? Uh, all right, let's do it. I mean, if they have it, they have it. All right, Brazen Bar, that's actually the least of our concerns. Brazen Bar actually doesn't block any of these things next turn, so that's also good. Yep, that was a quick one. I will keep. I mean, it's so dumb to just always have like two or three rat colonies, but we're playing 12 of them. Uh, yeah, we'll get Llanowar up, because that slows the opponents down at least. Sure, that seems fine. Uh, hmm. Okay. We'll force the opponent to want to block with some things. There's a good chance they won't want to, and we're okay with that. All right, they're not into it. Fair enough. Here they can play another Paradise Druid. Oh, Arch Druid. That's actually much scarier for us. We do not like that. We do not like. Uh, okay, so now they're going to have access to play a Paradise Druid. Tap the Arch Druid for four mana. Place, lead the stampede. But that doesn't really... Actually, that's not true. They probably just collected company. Um, Alright. I guess we just go as big as we can. At least put real pressure on them. Like, block or don't. Okay. It's real about this turn, then. I mean, they have access to a lot of mana here. Could even activate the Allosaur Shepherd if they wanted to. Alright. Not so worried about that. I mean, they can block and kill our creatures. That's fine. How bad is this, though? This is, this is the real kicker. That's what we were afraid of. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Now we need our, our Piper... Uh, we didn't get it. Yep, the Piper was probably our only out here. Because then they'd have to block, 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 and still have one of these get through. And we would get to kill off a lot of their stuff. Uh, however, in the situation we're in, that's not good. Oh gosh, and they got rid of lead the Stampede? Uh, we're just dead, right? I mean, I can't imagine any other scenario we're not just dead. Yeah, Elite's gonna block something. Paradise Druid block something. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, that all checks. Alright, we're dead. Okay, we go first. Sure, let's do it. I think this hand we're going to lead with a rat colony. And then follow up with the burglar rat. See if maybe we can catch the opponent with a card in their hand. They may want to keep for later sort of thing. No idea if it's going to happen that way. But we're going to try. Because really, what else are we going to do? I think I know what I would like. I think I want something to just pump the rats. Um, and there's a... We, we can talk about it in the post game, but there's there's an artifact I think I want to include in this list instead of the Herald Horn, honestly. All right, how bad is this for us? Uh, 
they're probably trying to decide do they want to exactly spin the mana to kill our rats or do something else. Uh, unfortunately, that makes us where we can't kill it with a Heartless Act. Big fan of Domery's Ambush, though. We played it a lot when it was standard legal not long ago. And I like the Slumlord. I just don't know how often we're going to get it where it matters. I think if we have multiple rats and they're already big... Or we're already giving stuff like Death Touch or whatever. I mean, or, or Menace. Like, we don't care that much, really. As silly as that sounds. Uh, oh, boy. What do we do with this? This feels kind of bad. Because we're going to have to, like, double block, like, an Orn Refus. And then we're probably still going to lose if they have any type of... Instant speed removal. Oh yeah, we're just dead. Alright, moving along. Can we go first? Sure, we'll keep. Why not? Though I don't think, I don't know, maybe Eliminate is a better card than Heartless Act for us in a lot of cases. Just from the way the format's built, but I don't know. We don't have really, without like something like Piper, we don't really have a way to take advantage of Fatal Push. So I don't think that's the answer. Oh, we're going to exile this. Nope, they opted not to. Okay, well, let's attack and see what the opponent does. Answer is nothing. Okay. Ah, see, if we didn't leave that one mana up, we would have got censored. Baffling in, sure, gonna get rid of the Piper of the Swarm. Makes sense. We drew another rat. I'm gonna assume because they played this, they don't have some type of sweeper here. Because if they did, I would assume you just wait one turn and just get a two or even a three for one from the tokens or whatever. All right, kill our things. Nope. Hmm. It's intriguing. All right, well, we'll attack. Aha. Well, we're gonna get to you. This is why I played that land first, because we get to kill a shark typhoon token and then we get to discard a swamp make a rat pump our team so that was like plus two and make a three three all right do we make it through the turn we make it through the game all right Not much to do here. This probably just dies quickly, I assume. Nope, they revitalize. Interesting. Banishing light or something here? I can't see any reason this pack rat's going to live. Weird. That is very strange. Unless the opponent just has a sweeper in hand. We 
which I suppose could be the case, but I'm just going to do this. Call rat. And this is kind of sweeper defense, so it's not the worst thing. Alright, they're obviously trying to gain a lot of life for something. For what? I don't know. But I know for something. Uh, okay, we're just gonna pass. I mean, I could turn it into a, a pack rat. Turn a rat colony into a pack rat, so I guess that's fine. Alright, they've drawn a bunch of cards and gained a bunch of life. I'm not really sure what they're doing, though. Sure. I mean, now we go ahead and Slumlord, right? Because if they do sweep the board, we at least end up with one ones. Not great, but they help our burglar rats. I mean, help our, our rat colonies. But I mean, it's 4, 10, 13. And this would turn these each into a plus 1. So that's 16. Still not lethal. Well, I say that. I guess it would be, because we have one mana rats in hand. Alright, we'll take that. It's great to have Post Sweeper here. So we're very appreciative of that. Let's play a Burglar Rat. See how the opponent feels about this situation. I have to assume you have at least one creature kill spell here. Nothing? I was going to say, if you have a thing, you just kill a pack rat, right? Alright, so they're going to take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can make it 13, 14. By scrapping a rat colony. Though I'm not sure if it's worth doing that or just playing a piper here. I think I'm just going to let it go and play a piper. Mostly because if they do sweep, we'll get an extra token from the slumlord. And that's probably where we want to be. I mean, if they want to kill our pack rat token too, now is the time. Mastermind's acquisition, okay. That goes and gets something. I don't know what that is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Even if you kill that. And we can make that plus one. All right, so I can go to 12. Well, now you're just dead, right? Yeah. All right, so is the deck fun? It's a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, is it what I would call good? Not really. I mean, you're not gonna beat most of the like serious aggro decks in Historic. There's a lot of the like mid-range and slower decks that you have a shot against just because you have the discard spells and you have creatures that can keep making tokens. So you'll beat some of those just because, like you saw in the video. But, you know, you're not going to really beat goblins. You're going to struggle a bit against elves. Like, the, the gruel stuff, you're going to have trouble beating just because they're large and they have good removal. Uh, I am going to make some changes to this list so you can pump up the rats a little bit. Though I like the Slumlord, being 5 mana doesn't really help a lot in this list. Plus, you have the issue of... It's really not fully helping the deck do what it's trying to do, I guess. Like, you don't really care that Chef has Death Touch when you already have five power creatures, six power creatures. You know, it's not really what you're looking for. But yeah, cool deck, super fun. If you need to knock out your dailies in Arena, 
you know, you either just cast a bunch of creatures or play a bunch of black spells or whatever. This is one of the funnest ways to do it. So fire this up and go for it if that shows up on your list. And it's not terribly difficult to build uh, because they're playing cards. You already need another historic decks, except for the Slumlord, but I'm going to be cutting that. And a bunch of really commons and uncommons I mean, for the most part. So yeah, give it a look. Now we want to talk about the card spotlight of the day which is Siege Rhino. And funny as it is, you know, once upon a time, if you look at Siege Rhino, it kind of looks a little like, ah, oh, this card's pretty good. But this was the most hated card in Standard for almost a solid year and a half. Like, nobody wanted to play against this card, and people barely wanted to play the card because it was so overpowered at the time. For four mana, you got a sizable creature, and you got to drain your opponent for some life. Just crazy. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd bring this up, just showing, like, how different a card can be in a different environment. Like, I mean, you know, how we say some of the new cards have outclassed some of the old ones? I think Siege Rhino would actually still be playable today if it was available in Standard. So that's something to think about. Like, that's how strong Siege Rhino was. Also, don't forget, if you want this deck list, it'll be down in the description below, right along with links for our Twitch and Twitter and Discord, if you want to come over and just talk about stuff there. Also, links for my sponsors. And if you'd like to buy some merchandise to support me, that's in there, too. Also, don't forget, if you're shopping with TCG Player or Amazon, if you follow the links down in the description, even if you don't buy the items that are linked, we still get credit as long as you do your shopping within 24 hours. And if you haven't, one last time for this video, I gotta ask, please like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by February 1th, and I need your help to just hit that red button. And that's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.